guys. CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Hopefully that uh, didn't give you that fuzzy noise in here. But uh, today, we got a neat little haul here. We're going to talk about some German, German tools, okay? Now, I'm not German. I'm actually Norwegian, for most of you that don't know. But uh, we got a couple new tools from uh, Germany. And uh, we got some new nip axes, which went on a big nip axe run there for a bit. And uh, I want to address a few things, but uh, definitely want to talk about these uh, deals that I got. Now, the small disclosure, nothing I'm showing here. I will put links in the description for places that you can get them from. Uh, places in the description I can get them from. But you will not be able to find these prices for any of this stuff. Reason being is because A, I don't know, it's just not available, and uh, I got lucky enough to find these deals. B, it is what it is. But I will split links and tell you that uh, you can get these things from, but in fact, JD Tico's got a pretty good deal on these right now for $49.99, I believe. All right, let's give you a little different camera angle. We're going to talk about the wrenches. First of all, I've showed these before, and these are the... Uh, see if I can get the... Be more prepared, CP. Be, pre be more prepared because people want to get in and get out and watch your video. These are the Stahlvilla, and it's not Stahlvilli, but these are the 28s, and that's the that's to the size reference to these. Um, the, the pieces on this, I think it's 10 to 19. I believe it might be 8 to 19, or 24, 24. 22, 22, 22, 8 to 22. 7 to 22. And the thing about Stall Villa is, is I will tell you that I've already learned about these beautiful alloy wrenches. Is they're forged chrome alloy steel, which is a definite nice steel. If you would please focus in there, Mr. Camera. From Germany, 17 millimeter. And these are the default, deep offset wrenches. You can see that these are just very, they're hand machined. Are they hand? They're forged, okay, but they're hand machined uh, to get them to the smoothness, to to knock down all the edges and stuff, whatnot. Staubel is the Staubella, Staubel twenty. Uh, yeah, I I really do enjoy these wrenches. I, in fact, I'm not even so sure. And I tell you this about every satin finish wrench, but I'm not so sure that these are not my favorite wrenches just because of the fact. Uh, moisture control uh, these do not have near the issues with them i'm sure over a period of time they might collect some more issues but uh and they're not a high use wrench for me but these are definitely these were a killer deal i got on these i've been waiting i think i got these for star villa wrenches if you look on amazon every once in a while will come up dirt cheap and when you get the opportunity you ought to jump on them get a couple sets i think i paid i can't remember i had to go back to the video that i that I got got these from and talk about them but the main reason is, is I got these wrenches here let me move these out of the way and I got these wrenches which are the 10 fives and that's a five piece set and they're 10 inches uh, I'm not sure how that number works there's a there's a there's a rhyme or reason to how the number works on them and I quite frankly didn't care to look because these wrenches were so dirt cheap they were $30 and these are an open-ended wrench and uh once again and they are uh 10 to 19 i believe was this five piece set goes from 10 to 9 8 to 19 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 nope not right cp not right let's look we'll pull them all out here look at the entire t so i remember the sizes on them i this was a smaller set so we got a 14 15 we've got a 13 and a 12 We've got a 10 and an 11, and we've got an 8 and a 7. 9, 8 and a 9, excuse me. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, no 16, no 18, and a 17 and a 19. But these are beautiful wrenches, and these were 30 doll hairs. Once again, for these, these uh, Star Villa Motor 10s, and that's this style. This is this style of wrench, is what that means from my research but just a beautiful wrench once again forged uh chrome alloy steel just absolutely 
a beautiful, beautiful ranch. Stahlvilla is basically like the Schnapp-on of Germany. But I thought for 30 bucks, these are definitely a good deal. A couple other buddies of mine had gotten some other wrenches. Um, but And they are noticeably thinner. I will tell you that. That was one something I thought was really neat about these. They are noticeably thinner. Uh, let me grab a wrench. So I grabbed one of my Mac Precision Torx. There's an 11 millimeter. And uh, let's grab the 11 millimeter of these. They are noticeably just in between sizes. Here's a Capri th thin wrench. I'll let you look at all three of these side by side. But you can definitely tell that they've kind of land in the middle, which is not too shabby. If you're looking to, to cover all three sizes, come on, CP. These things are harder to hold on to than bar of soap in prison, I'll tell you that. Uh, I got these things all slipping and sliding around in here trying to get them lined up. Look through the camera to make sure I get the shot for you guys. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. If you look at the, look at the wrench size, wrench heads all lined up you can see they just maybe they don't look that thin there on that one am i getting the 11 millimeter in there yes i am i'm telling you they, it's thinner it just doesn't look that way let's look through maybe i'm maybe i'm joshing myself but it definitely looks thinner in my opinion uh the camera's making it look you know what camera adds 10 pounds or 10 <coughs> 10 centimeters but there you have it. There's a thin wrench and there's a Mac Precision Precision Torque uh, Chrome wrench. But uh, definitely for thirty three dollars, these were a heck of a heck of a buy in my opinion. Uh, you know, I, I just I went I made out like a, a fat cat on that. These nice little route rolls they got. These wrench rolls they have are really nice. Uh, nice to have a good little open end wrench set like this for uh, you know just having a tight roll to take somewhere and. Uh, can't beat buying some Stalvilla wrenches for that. So we'll move on to the next thing I got. All right, so the next thing that I bought was these beautiful uh, 1372.8s, and that's an 8-inch Nipex uh, electrician's pliers. And uh, boy, howdy, have these things been the talk of the town. And uh, I have been using these, and let me just show you real fast. Cause you're... What do you think about that? I mean, was that just... <laughs> That was almost luxurious, that's wasn't stupid. it? Huh? That's stupid how good this thing cuts. It just, it's dumb, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it smooth? Yeah. Just buttery smooth. Where can I get a free diesel sweatshirt? That's, is that guy still around? Yeah. I thought him and Whistling Diesel got into it. Yeah, he has his own YouTube channel. Hey, Brock. What else? I mean, dude, that you didn't really put that much effort in there. Uh -huh. And their back strippers are just, I mean, they're better than what you can get at the club, right? For sure. You need to see this, and we're going to talk about this. So the last video that I did with cutters, which the Nipex cutters, so that's why I got these laid out here. But the last video I did with them, people were, you know, just freaking out about how I was cutting this and that. And uh, so I got some of this wire, this, uh, wire loom that I was working on today. Uh, let's get this set up here. Come on, CP. Work with me, baby. Work with me. Work with me. All right. So I want to show you just the smooth action cutting. And I'll get out some of my other electricals here. But these are, uh, there's double wire right there. I mean, these things are, oh, they are effortless. These things cut electrical like a champ. Let me get a couple other pair of electricals out here. So, uh, compared to, these were probably the biggest comparison to, and these have been kind of my go-to for a little bit. The, the Klein ones here are really nice, and they're very comparable to these, and they cut pretty good, but not as good as those Nipexes do. And I know some of you Klein guys might get, and I do love these, 100% USA made. I do like these pliers, and I the tips don't come together, probably because they're made for pulling Romax. I mean, Klein's aren't really automotive-based, but... Um, we have some KD USA made, which these are been these were my first ones uh, that I pretty much dialed in. And you can see right here, the problem is with cutting this big of wire is I got to make two cuts on it, and they're not really, yeah, they're they're not made for this. They're wore out, you know. And I don't dare warranty these out. I can tell you that much. But yeah, that just kind of gnarls it up. Um, the next set that I pretty much 
would uh, probably have to go with would, is going to be the snap-ons. And uh, these are USA made also. The PWC 57 ACF, which are widely renowned. Um, and they don't cut as good neither. Got to be honest with you, and we're going to get into some stripping factors. But, yeah, these aren't near as buttery smooth as those Nipexes. And then pretty much one of the ones that I use all the time is my... These are S&G Tool Aid ones, rebranded, and they do have a cutter right down here. But uh, for this bigger gauge wire, yeah, it's a pain to get down in there. And then when you go to cut it, it's not going to... It's It just sucks. So, yeah, I definitely have a new clear Victor for uh, my new pliers that I'll be using. Uh, Nipex has definitely stolen my heart in this category. You know, I'm pretty picky when it comes to doing this stuff, but I mean, boys... These things are no joke. They can just slice. They just slice through these like hot butter. These pliers are the cat's pajamas. Uh, I am 100% sold on, on that. And then we'll get to the stripping part. Because, hey, everybody wants to see a good strip, right? So let's peel these back and let's get into stripping on them. All right, boys, get your dollar bills out because we're going to do a little stripping right now. Yeehaw! Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and get this into the right slot here, CP. Show you, these are pretty effort, effort, effortless at stripping. I gotta say, I mean, they probably might look a little bit harder than what it is, but when you're considering you're pulling on some of these wires like this, uh, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty gangster when it comes to that. Uh, the, the, uh, the KDs, I know, I'm not even gonna try these. I know they're just getting worn out, but the snap-ons are probably my next, and, the, and the, I'll show you the Nipex. Let me go ahead and whack these off and uh, we'll do some stripping see here now these are definitely small for smaller ones i will say these things will leave you hanging after what is it 20 gauge yeah 20 gauge. these go down to 20 and these go down to 24 22 and 24 so i still need these for that smaller stuff you know but for your 20 gauge stuff which I can't hardly read the damn writing on here for the 20 gauge too. I gotta tell you, that's part of the old age here in life. Is you're trying to get they they stir pretty good. They're not terrible, but I don't like going up in between these. But these are smaller, and they're they're not 100% my go-to. I don't know, not just not not something I like. Now these uh, Nipex or the Kleins. Once again, these things are definitely a close second when it comes to this stuff. They do only go down to 20 gauge too, much like the, the Nipexes. But uh, the big bulky tip on here hinders a guy in the automotive side of things. But it strips pretty good. And the clients are pretty hard to beat. You know what I mean? Like the, the cutting is the cutting is not that bad. Uh, let's look at the... It's just not as good as the Nipex. The Nipex really, really shine. Now, when we're talking about... These are my go-tos, but I got to tell you... I've been having some problems lately because of, uh, you know, stripping wires with these. These things are super fast. You know, I can strip a wire off really quick. And you see it pulls them right off. But it also, see if I can find it, it also tends to pull out strands. And that's not good when you've got a 20 gauge wire and you're pulling out half the strands with it. Uh, so these, these ones are definitely... A little bit dicey and that's kind of you know one of those things where i watch out for so uh <clears throat> lo and behold but also i wanted to get on to is people were giving me they were giving me crap about cutting they're like oh cp you're trying to cut nipexes with four gauge wire which quite frankly i don't think see what the problem is but people are like oh you're not cutting them right <laughs> right stuff no those those are made for hard wire okay that's fine and uh i just wanted to address this you see how it popped off there? In fact, let me do it again so you can see it. See how it popped off there? Now I want to show you the hard wire with the, the channel lock brands, which are pretty much my go-to for them. See how they just set right in there? They cl clip off really clean, clean and easy. I don't know what is going on with Nipex in their cutting pliers, but I got to tell you, my old ones were a lot like my channel locks, and I really never had any problems. It wouldn't have been for the tip chipped in them but i'm just not impressed with these high leverage uh nipexes like i were uh, i think there's some issues going on as far as the electrical pliers 
Uh, these things are the bee's knees. This locking mechanism on here is really nice. So one of the guys mentioned on my Instagram too that he took this screw out and changed it because they are spring. They are springed back. And uh, I love these comfortable grip handles too. I got to tell you, these are right next to Snap-on. I am definitely a big, huge proprietor of the Snap-on. I think the Snap-ons are still feel the best, but that's just because I'm old school and used them a lot. The Apex is definitely right there. But <clears throat> back to this again. Sorry, squirrel. A guy said he took the screw out, resprung this, so that way that the spring was all the way. Because these are a little bit, uh, you kind of got to spread them open when you're trying to get, you see this large gauge wire you kind of really gotta really gotta give her a lot there to get the but dude these things are just oh i mean buttery so yeah for this bigger stuff and you know the cutting blades i understand on uh normal pair of cutters are is that if you're cutting that soft wire like that you definitely want to have these type of blades and obviously that when you're cutting hard stuff cotter pins and whatnot you want to have your dice or your, you know, these edges on these like this. I get that. <clears throat> I get that. So I understand why people were saying what they were saying in the comments of the other video. Once again, I'm not, I'm not the world's most perfect. But anyways, guys, German tools for the win today. The Nipexes, man, get yourself some of these. I'm telling you what, 1372.8s, awesome pliers. Um, the Kleins, really love these too. I uh, can't say anything bad i do like my tool aids but you got to watch out what you're doing with them and the snap on still come in handy for the smaller wires because i need those because the snap the clines i don't have any clines that are the snap the snip x's probably should look in to see if they got another smaller pair but anyways guys that's a video for you remember like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty and your money clean thanks for watching